welcome to the session greeting of the day in today's class we are going to talk about uh, this mechanical actuating systems in actuating systems we know there are simple four categories of actuating mechanisms are there that are the electrical this hydraulic pneumatic and the mechanical so we have already seen here electrical dc ac motor stepper motor servo motors in hydraulic systems we have the various pumps we have seen in pneumatic compressors types and everything we have seen there which is all used for the output actuation with actuations are done through electrical it is a rotating it is one of the type of actuation Hydraulic piston is moved, pneumatic pistons are moved forward reverse. So that actuation we are doing, it can be, the actuation can be done by using the mechanical systems also. How we are doing? The caps we are using here. Other mechanical systems are their great gear profiles. So we are seeing one of the type of mechanical actuations as the cam profiles. The caps are mechanical devices which are used to generate a curvilinear or irregular motions of a mechanical elements. So cam profile usually a circular motions can be generated or with a flat reciprocating also can be generated up and down. A linear irregular motions also possible to do depending upon the cam profile design. They are used to convert rotary motion into axillary motions or otherwise can be into reciprocating motions also. We have to see one by one the classifications. There are two links namely the cam itself which act as an input member. The other link that act as an output member is called a follower. We are using two components here, which is one is the cam profile and one is the cam itself and one more is the output member as a follower. So cam we are considering it as an input member because this, it is going to rotate. The cam, the round component is going to rotate and we are going to keep the follower. It is a follower which is going to keep touch the above. When the roller rotates, depending upon the design of the cam, it may oscillate or it may reciprocate so that we have we are saying we are considering that is actuation we, that we are using for mechatronic systems to link to make the various actuating functions the cam transmits the motion the cam transmits the motion to the follower by the direct contact itself both follower and cam are in touch we will see one by one in cam for pair the cam usually rotates while the follower translates or oxidates. We have a cam here and it is going to rotate and we have a follower here like this. This can able to oxidate here and then when there is a rotation of cam comes up and down or rotates. So this is the oxidation when you are keeping the same follower in this way. I am keeping the follower in this way, so I am straightly I'm keeping instead of that. What happens when the cam rotating, the, the action can be takes place up and down likewise. So that is a reciprocating approach, can be, a, can be translated or can be oxidated. Complicated outputs motions which are otherwise difficult to achieve can be easily produced with the help of cams. So difficult operations, different profiles can be done depending upon the cam design. In case if the cam is like this, I have the follower here. What happens when the cam is rotating? We will similarly the same copy also. The follower will copy the same. Again, this this up and down motions is going to take place in this format. So up and down motions can be takes place in this format only. Because the same, it is going to come here. It is going to come here when it is rotating. So it is it is going upward and it is plotting the graph there. 
may be useful for cutting also, useful for, for drawing also. Such a, if you are having a knife there, it is going to keep on up and down, it is going to cut and making a markings. So similar patterns we can able to get there. Therefore it is enabled as a cans are widely used in internal, internal combustion engine up and down the machine tools for printing. The same graph of printing can be replica there using the cam profiles of mechanical textile wear in industries, automated machines everywhere we are using this. Mechanical actuating systems necessary elements of the cam mechanisms are a drive member known as a cam. This I am naming as a cam. This we have a design, various designs we will have. A drive member called as a follower. This is the driving member. This is the driver. And this is the follower which I am naming as a sir, driven. A frame which supports the cam and the guides the follower, the frame. A guide. So what what we have here a cam profile. This here we have connected somewhere to the motor or somewhere from the, the cam itself. Output it is coming some from the crankshafts or rotating mechanisms. It comes through this. We are going to control up and down engine controls. Likewise, we can take example. So what happens? And if the profile like this is rotating simultaneously, here the push happens. When it is rotating, the push happens. Here I have a springs. I have a spring. So if it is pushed by force, to force by this large force, it is upward. When it is coming down again, it is going to return back to the nil position. So likewise, uh, this dwelling operations can be done. Classifications of cam, a uh, width and flat camps, number one. Are, this is flat cam. A width of a specified contour and has a translation of motion. The follower can either translate or oscillate. So this can be either translate or it can be oscillate. The spring is used to maintain, see the spring, we are talking about the spring. The spring is used to maintain the contact between the cam and the follower. You see, here it is giving some stressable, stretchable force there. At a nil condition it is in contact. It is not free. When it is in contact, when the cam, so here I have, I am not having the rotor contact, rotor cam here. I have a linear cam from here it is going to move when the cam is moving here the adjustments will take place at now at, the, at this condition when the cam is moving in this direction what happens this needle has to come here it means it is moving upward so this uh, reciprocating actions are done there using a flat cam, this is a flat linear cam, flat cam, roller cam, flat cam. So, likewise, I have here not a roller cam, not a flat cam, I have here a cylindrical cam. This cylinder, you see, this cylinder contains a central shaft and it is ready to rotate according to the profile so it the cam is rotating and i want to follow the followers here the follower is this one i have a connection i have a groove there in the groove on the cam this is the cylindrical cam we have receiving a input here the shaft is going to rotate on the cam i have a groove on the groove, I have a cam joint. It is not coming out. It is inside. And what happens? This cam joint is going to operate along the cam profiles. In case on the cylinder, if I have a slot on the in this design, 
I have a slot in this design. What happens? This is going to this this point of this point of camp joint is going to move here and there when it is rotating. It is kept here, but it is rotating here. But it is finding the path in this way on the slot. Therefore, when it is rotating, it has to come here and it has to adjust itself. It has to adjust itself like this. I have connected a straight shaft to this point. What happens? Accordingly, it will move. So I have converting a rotary motion into the linear motions. So this is happens in this cylindrical cam profiles. Cylindrical profile contains a slot. Through slot we are doing. A cylindrical has a circumferential contour cut, contour cut a slot. In the surface and the cam rotates about the axis. Cam is going to rotate about an axis, this axis. It is going to rotate here. The follower motion is either oscillating. This follower motion may be either oscillating or may be reciprocating. Here, if I this here as of now it is moving. Up and down also possible. Oscillating possible. So that is white. Also called as this centrical cam is also called as a drum cam or barrel cams. Such so ways we are generally identifying these cylindrical caps. Cam profile is over. I am changing the follower now. Up to now, you could have seen this is the follower. So, this is the follower. This is the followers. So, I am changing the types of followers now. Classifications of followers. Followers can be classified based on type of surface contact. How the surface is, how where it is contacting, types of follower motion, reciprocating motion, oscillating motion, oxidating follower, reciprocating follower, like which we can classify. Line motion of the followers. We will see. So I have classified here. I have not changed the cam. I have not used the cylindrical cam. I have not used the flat cam. I have not used the roller cam. In general, all 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 are same caps. Here I am changing the follower type. Here the follower is here the follower is with a knife edge follower. This may be a knife edge follower for sure, but here the wear will take place. One point wear will be more. This sharp corners will wear out. Here it may contain the roller follower. Simply when the cam is rolled, according to roller also slowly it moves up and down. But here the contact are very less. Here the wear is one problem, here the less contact, the roller is very small, here the only contacting zone is very small. Therefore, I am increasing the contact through a flat roller. Whenever this, this total zones are going to be in contact here, when this point is come, so there is a, a plate follower. Now, with a spherical type follower also, it, it may have a little bit wider little bit wider spherical cam also which is also contains a uh, elaborated sufficient contact on the cam and we have everywhere we have spring so the forced contact will be there and 100 percentage cam profiles uh, up and downs the outputs will reserved by the follower so this is one of the types of followers one by one we should go. Knife edge follower, the contacting end of the follower has a sharp knife edge. The sliding motion is exists between the contacting cam and follower surfaces. Rarely used in practice because the small areas of contacting surface results in executive wear. Next one, the roller follower. It consists of cylindrical roller which rolls on the cam surfaces. So here it is a roll on a cam surfaces. Because of the rolling motion, because of the rolling motion between the contacting surface, contacting surface, the rate of wear is reduced as compared to the knife. Compared to the knife edge follower, it is given there. Extensively used extensively used where the more space is available 
Satsas are gas and the oil engines. So where the where, where the space is available, we can use the roller power. If somewhat the, the volume of the roller is large. But the space is not there, some constructed are there by the design. We can the pointer we can use. Somehow it touches and moves up and down. Flat face follower, the same what we have seen, more contacts. The follower face is perfectly flat. It experiences side test due to the friction between the contact and follower of the cam. Until the side here comes, the thrust force is it, it can increase more. That's the point. So spherical face follower. The contacting end of the follower is a spherical. It is going to be spherical. Spherical shape which overcomes the drawback of a side thrust force and experience a flat face follower. Here, due to this flat surfaces, it may more contact and more forces will be also chances are there. Our intention is to move up here and then it should come down. But it may not happen. Some side thrust force will make it to move up and down. Additional. So we have to reduce somehow long, not very long, not very long. It should be congested according to the requirement. That requirement is nothing but a, this this part. The requirement is nothing but a, this part. So accordingly, the spherical follower can follow knife, we are. So therefore, we have come to roller. And then we came to follow flat. The side thrust happens, more force is created. Therefore, we convert it into the somehow a spherical face follower. Therefore, roller and spherical force followers are most widely used. Classification based upon the follower's motion. Types of, according to the physical roller flat that we have seen. We have to see about how the motion takes place. Oxidating motion, reciprocating motion, how it is, that also. The rotary motion of the cam is converted into a predetermined oxidatory motion of the follower or otherwise the translating motions also. So I have given two. One is about oxidating follower. One is about a, this oxidating follower. One is about oxidating follower. We can take this of number one and this one is about the transaction follower. The rotary motion of the cam is converted into the predetermined oxidating motion. You see, here I have a fixed norm of like this. Therefore, it is when the cam is rotating, when the cam is rotating in this direction, when the cam is rotating in this direction, we are going to have oxidation up and down like this. So this is, I am understanding this is an oxidating motion. I am understanding this is an oxidating motion. Now, in the one more thing, Translating the reciprocating motion still the same profile. I am not fixed here. This is this is fixed here. This is the fixed here. But I am making the reciprocating motion. But here I have used the roll follower, roller follower. Here I have used the spherical follower. I am not talking about the type. I am not talking follower based on the motion takes place. Motion here is oscillation. Motion here is reciprocating. So accordingly, I can. I am just getting a clarity on types of followers. Based upon followers and dividing, the followers reciprocates in the guide as the cam rotates uniformly. Also called as it is also called as a reciprocating follower. So we are naming this as a translating follower or otherwise a reciprocating followers also. Now the various applications of these systems. We know we have done. A types of cam profiles, types of followers, and with the force of spring we have kept. So it can it can it can able to do reciprocating operation, it can give it to do oxidating operation, it can give it to linear, non-linearity, irregular graphs. As as the cam is rotating, whatever it is happening here, this point it is going to reflect. This point is a replica of this point. If it is ram is rotating, here also you will get the same some same images because it, it is going to punch here. You can make a graph, you can able to punch, you can able to cut, 
something if you are having a knife at the other end as, as an actuation it is going to keep on it is going to touch and you can you keep on going to cut some graph or a plotting we can do likewise so there is a huge uh, applications are there it used in the machineries gear cutting machines a specimen can kept here the specimen gear object can be kept here over the gear we have a cam profile and at the other end the actuating we may have the any cutting processes therefore this cutting processes will be used for gear cutting so that is one a screw machines a printing process we can use see the screw machines the printing mechanisms and then a textile industries auto by engine valves tool changers of machine centers conveyors pallet chains we have many more applications here for the cam profiles which is comes under mechanical actuating systems few applications cams and ic engines to operate the inlet valve and exhaust valves are possible the cam shaft rotates by using a prime movers so here the cam shaft is rotated by the prime movers maybe outputs and therefore it is started to rotate it causes the rotation of the cam this rotating produces a translating motion of the taps against the spring so here it is going to press whenever it is a flat we are getting then it will increase and then it will press it will increase it again press according to this this inlet valve can be open so such applications are there in the ic engines the stand station motion is used to open or close the valve you are using the ic engines also some examples automatic copying machine have taken the racks how i am doing this cam is for design i have a design here this is the design of cam i have i have to copy the same in the upward what happens this cam the roller cam i have used from here and i am starting to move this one in one direction starting point is here what happens here it is going to form like this because we are when we are moving here and other end i have some marker there a copier it is a, it is a marker to make a graph similar graph there so it is going to put a plot there so it is a it just like a copy a cam profile can transfer on on to the work piece by using a roller follower the follower can be mounted with the cutting tools also for cutting for marker for cutter tool it is the cutter at the other end at the actuating side as the cam transfers the roller follows the cam as the cam transfers the roller follows the cam the required features can be copied onto the the required features can be copied onto the workpiece by the movement of the follower over the profile the profile can be copied over the other end by making the contact of the follower on the cam and the movement of the cam when the movement of the cam happens obviously which is in contact it is going to change this point has to going to change if the point is this point is changing here also the needle which is having this point also is going to change accordingly we can use for the copying machine setups the summary in today's class we have seen about uh, this mechanical actuating systems actuating systems on that we have seen about uh, the various uh, types of caps so we have we have seen based upon followers based upon camps as a mechanisms the remaining part of the subject we will see you in the next session